Paul Burrell, the butler and confidant of cancer survivor Princess Diana, has her opinion on all things royal. After completing her final radiotherapy treatment for prostate cancer in the cancer ward of Christie Hospital, she shared her thoughts on the upcoming coronation of King Charles. Answering the question whether Charles's estranged son, Prince Harry, and his wife, Meghan, would attend the ceremony, Paul told Closer magazine in England that he expected Harry to fly alone for this historic event. If they do, it will probably be incredibly uncomfortable for them, especially Meghan. Are they ready to face the music? I don't think Meghan was brave or strong enough to be there, she should have looked in the eyes of a family she pushed under the bus. But I think Harry could come by himself and probably told her that he wouldn't be there if he joined. Paul says the king took a high moral ground by inviting his son, despite his continued attacks against the royal family. Ultimately, he says, the ball is well and truly in Harry and Meghan's court. He added that it would be difficult for Harry to see Queen Camilla where his mother could be. Harry has yet to confirm whether his father will be attending one of the most important days of his life. The Duke of Sussex said, there is so much that can happen between now and then. The door is always open. The ball is in their court. There is a lot to discuss and I really hope they are willing to sit down and talk about it. Believing that the responsibility will rest on his sister-in-law and Britain's future Queen Kate, Princess of Wales, Paul says that Harry has no future for the monarchy. Kate is in an incredible position because it really depends on her. It's a huge responsibility because I think the royal family will collapse if she decides she doesn't want to be a part of her marriage anymore. Everything is fixed by Kate, the future is powered by Catherine Middleton and it's incredible. Paul also believes that once the coronation is over, Charles will unleash his anger at Harry for his attacks on Camilla, whom he describes as the villain. The king's wrath has not yet descended on his son. He publicly criticized the woman he loved. Harry Meghan should stay in America and live a long happy life there. There is no life for them here anymore. They turn their backs on the royal family, the country and its people.